top and bottom fuselage halves. Both main. <laughs> now the motor can actually come straight apart. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use this heat shrink film to cover a wing. This is a plane that I've built myself and it's at the stage where it needs to be covered. Uh, the first thing you need to do is get yourself one of these covering irons. Uh, they're pretty cheap. You probably could use a normal iron, but these are better for doing all the detail areas. Normally what you want to do is start from the back of the plane and go to the front. But with this design I wanted the centre panel to be clear. So that means I'm going to be doing that first and then the solar colours either side. Okay, first what you want to do is all these films have a backing on them, which you have to take off. You just peel it off, making sure the side that you peeled off is the side that you stick down on your job. You want to start off I've got my iron set to a bit over half. You want to seal the ends, and then the middle, and then around the edges. And then after that, you can shrink it down, turn it up a bit, and shrink down the middle panels. Just a light touch at the end there, another light touch here, and that's pinned the two ends. Now you want to do the middles. And now it's all tacked in place, you do the four corners and then you can go around the edges, giving it a slight pull when you pull it, heat it down. You're not trying to fully shrink it yet, you just want to tack it all in place. Okay, now I've got the edges all tacked down. Or the, the corners, sorry, or run along the edges and tack them down too. And what I'm doing is I'm actually dragging the iron away from the center, as that slightly tightens it as you go along. And now that I've sealed around all the edges, I'm going to go along each of these ribs and give them a bit of a seal. Heat them up and it'll stick the film down to it nicely. You don't want to rush it. If you start to get a few little creases here building up, you want to make sure the iron has enough of a chance to shrink the film before you push down. Otherwise you'll actually push creases into your film and you won't be able to get them out. Okay, now that I've sealed the edges, I can go ahead and turn my iron up and then seal the middle surfaces. The reason you seal the edges first is so that it doesn't shrink the film in a way that pulls it off the area that you're trying to work on. And once it's all sealed, it won't do that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and shrink the middle. Okay, you can see there the difference now that I've shrunk the middle. So now all I have to do is the other side and the bottom, and I'll be on to the next step. So I've got all the yellow applied now, and what I'm going to do to help with orientation is the rest of it I'll be doing white underneath and black on top. So once again, just take your ends and your middle, and then go from there. Slightly different on this one, because I need this to be a very straight edge, as it's going to be showing through the window. So you want to do this edge on a bit lower temperature, so it doesn't shrink it until you've actually got the whole thing sealed. And when you get to an area like this, you just put a cut at about 45 degrees into the corner and fold each edge down and apply the heat. 
Okay, I've got all the underside done, so now I'm going to flip it over and do the black on top. Okay, doing the leading edge, or any solid edge, you basically want to seal this edge here and grab the other side. And then with your iron, you go backwards and forwards. You're actually shrinking and heating this area here before it actually touches the balsa, and then you slowly roll it down. That way you shrink the wrinkles out of it before it actually hits the wood. And when you're done with the leading edge, it should look something like this. And when you come to do the edges like this, it's actually got a bit of a curve that way as well as top to bottom. Uh, you basically want to keep it nice and tight, as tight as you can. What that does is you'll get the wrinkles there. So the best way to do it is to actually heat it up and stretch it, or shrink it, actually before it touches the wood, and then sort of fold it down and it'll be nice and flat. So you can see there I've shrunk it and it's taken those wrinkles out. And just sort of iron it as you're placing the film onto the wood. And when you've completely ironed all around the edges, just give it a nice trim quite close to the edge. And then what you want to do, one last go around with the iron and just make sure the edges are all nice and sealed. And doing an inside curve like this is probably one of the most tricky areas you can do. Um, basically you want to turn your iron up, I've got it up three quarters of the way, and then just take it very slowly and once again you want to pull it tight and shrink it to get the wrinkles out before it touches the wood. Slowly rock it back and forward. I'm not even touching the wood yet, I'm just touching the film. Slowly rub it back and forward, and each time you rub it, just go slightly more, slightly forward, and it'll slowly creep up the curve. Now you don't want to pull it too tight, otherwise, the film can actually pull free in the middle of the curve there. So you want to keep it a bit of tension but just not as much as what you've done on the other areas. And if you ever come to an area like this, such as the front here, you want to turn your, your iron up to quite high and you just give it a gentle rock. Just give it a gentle rock around like that and it'll gradually start to shrink in. And just slowly push it in the end and it should all shrink around nice and flat. If you do it too fast you'll just get a fold there and it won't shrink properly. Okay I've just got to do the hatch now and then I'll be running a decorative stripe going down the leading edge and that'll be out of this checker stuff here. When you're putting a strip on the leading edge like this it's a good idea to start with a lower heat, especially with a film that has a pattern, and that'll help avoid the pattern distorting. And what you want to do is lay it down and apply a bit of heat just along the middle, and then you can fold the film either side. Make sure it's nice and flush. You want to squeeze as much of the air out as you can before you actually apply the heat. Just run your thumb all along should stick reasonably well, even without heat on it. And then a nice gentle heat, starting from the middle and then working out. There's quite a good chance you'll get an air bubble 
between the two layers of film. If that happens, just get a quite a small pin, a really fine pin, and give it a small prick into it, and that should release the air and the bubble should disappear. Okay, I've got the covering job done now. I've just fitted the folding prop there, it's a 9x5. And here's how I did the wingtips. Same as the leading edge, um, just having the checkers alternate like that. I think it's a good way of finishing off that front edge. See it's nice and smooth, looks pretty sleek. I'm quite pleased how it's turned out. And the underneath is obviously opposite, I've got wide underneath. So it's turned out quite nice. And here's how I've done the servo hatches. Uh, just line up, basically cover the hatch in white and whatever pattern you've got at the front, just line it up and stick it over, it just helps it blend in. I hope you guys have got something out of this, or a few ideas. Um, I'm by no means an expert, so if you can see anything that I've done that can be approved, just let us know. And I hope to see you next video. See you later. Get up, let me do it. Oh, look at that, look at that.